welcome back to another video. Today is going to be my spring decor home tour for the year of 2020. Um, I didn't do a decorate with me because I just kind of ended up doing it like throughout the week last week. Um, and this is what I came up with. If you're not watching this live um, and it's at a different time, we are in quarantine. Um, I guess I'm just trying to make a mental note of how I you know, decorate my house during quarantine. So obviously Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all of our fun stores are not open right now. So I had to do what I could with what I had. And yeah, I know a lot of people are currently doing like bee displays and summer displays, but I am still stuck in springtime. I took down my Easter, but I switched out for spring. So if you want to See how I've decorated my downstairs then just go ahead and keep on watching so this is my mug rack right now um I'll just do a quick overview my little guy's coming downstairs right now I can hear him there he is he just got a haircut he is so handsome sorry I'm obsessed with my dogs but yes this is my mug rack my mug rack is from Costco it's very inexpensive. It's basically a dupe for the one that's on decor seals. And that one's like $70 or $80. And this one was, I think, $30. So I love this. I 100% recommend it. The home sign is from Target. I got that a couple months ago. The um, eucalyptus little wreath or whatever is from Amazon as well as that little bead garland. I got that from Amazon as well. Those are actually gonna be linked below in my Amazon store. So if you are interested in purchasing that, again, my link is in my bio. Um, so I do just have a couple of mugs that just remind me of springtime and sunshine and I just love it. So I do have my happy spring egg plate still there because to me it is still spring. That's why that's kind of my theme right now. But I got my cup of sunshine. You are my sunshine. A hello spring and a chill mug. Um, I don't know because, you know, we're in quarantine and chill right now. So that's what I have. Um, that one's a blue interior and everything else is yellow. So that is kind of my theme. It's yellow and blue right now. So that is my mug rack. And then moving over, I switched this out to just the basic greenery um wreath i did get this from marshall's i got it on clearance for i think 15 dollars. so i got that a couple months ago um they have very similar ones so when the stores open back up if you're interested in that that's where i got from i got from marshall's so so coming over here this is my um little I don't know, what is this called? Your tear, or tear tray. The, so I just wanted to do pink and whites on here. So I got my hand sanitizer there. That's where I just keep it. Um, but I got my pink birdhouse, my pink nest birdhouse with the little planter that says, or the watering can that says nourish. And then I did get these um, lamb's ears from Marshall's. It was like a huge thing of like Eight, and I just cut them up so that's this side it's very simple but I really love the pink guys um, I love the way that this ended up turning out it's very simple there's not a lot going on but I still really like it and then on the other side is a pink happy spring candle and this is in the pink peony scent and then I just have some more lamb's ears with this pink bloom vase that I got and then I just have some tulips up there just to kind of add in the white on this side so again very simple but I actually really like the way that it came out it's I don't know sometimes less is more and in this case I think it just really works don't mind my McDonald's cups that's just my life so moving on over here nothing really has changed I really like the way that I have my heart set up, that is my security camera, which ended up going off last night, which was great. Uh, everything's good. Don't worry. But yeah, I really like the way that all of the hearts look. I was thinking about displaying these somehow, but I don't want to waste rice because I have many other um, measuring cups just displayed throughout my house. But yeah, I really like the way that this looks. And then I have my Happy Spring Crock. And it does have a pink interior, but it's very full with utensils. So, yeah, that's 
kind of hard to see, but I have that right now. And then I'm just going to do a quick little overview. This hasn't really changed. Don't mind my ripe bananas. I want to make banana bread, so I wanted to keep them like that. But yeah, I haven't done anything with this. This is just like my basic canisters that I use. Um, I still am trying to find a spot for this baby sugar, but I do love these little canisters. I wanted to get something other than my um, basics just to kind of add some other, I don't know, color to the kitchen. And I love pink and I love these. These were super, super inexpensive. They were also from Home Goods. I think this was like $5.99 and that was $7.99. And I just think, I just think they're so, so pretty. So that's that. And then just backing up, I love these towels and I'm so glad that I decided to pick up some spring, spring, uh, summer towels from Home Goods a couple months ago. I purchased these when I got my, um, St. Patrick's Day ones because I loved them. And if I didn't get them, then I wouldn't have really nice, um, towels for spring. So I'm so, so happy. They are so pretty. They got this beautiful pink and blue floral design and I just think it brightens up everything. Love it. I do have some dishes in my sink, so let's ignore that. But I have this little Fred. If you've been around for a while, you would know that me, Don, Mandy, and Christine call this Fred. I just found him. As you know, I moved into my house maybe four months ago. So I'm still unpacking some of my decor and I found him. So I figured I'd put him there. I don't know. I don't know. But I do have my Love Grows here. Um little vases you can't see because the the lighting my window and it's just not focusing but yeah that is my love grows here um little bottles and that's been there for a minute so yeah let's see here we go and then i got my blanket not my blanket it's like a tea towel holder it's very big so this is really the only spot that i can put it it doesn't fit underneath my cabinets do you see how tall it is but yeah um that is from Target. Uh, I ended up painting it. I got it a couple months ago, probably around winter time. And that towel is actually from the Target dollar spot, I think this year. And it was around Valentine's Day. But because it's pink and florally and springy, that's why it's there. So moving on, still a work in progress. I've been saying that for so, so long now, but I actually just ordered some stuff from uh, SheShedShop.com and hopefully I'll be getting it soon. So if I do, I will be sharing that with you. But this is like my little baking um, display, even though I'm not a baker, guys, but I just thought it'd be a really cute idea. Um, the shelf is from Hobby Lobby and I just painted the shelves white with some Annie Sloan chalk paint. And then um, I got my bake rolling pin, my pink bake, bake dish, pink measuring cups, and I just kind of was sticking with the whole baking theme. I got these little wooden eggs from the Target Dollar Spot this year as well. I got some sprinkles because I just think that they're so cute and pretty. And then I did get this little spatula um, from Walmart. I think it was like $2. And then this is just one of my spatulas from Easter, and I just flipped it around. Um... And it just, it works. So that's what that looks like. So I'm just going to do a quick overview. Um, nothing too special. Usually I'll put something up there. But again, with the quarantine, uh, it's limited. And then all of this up there has not changed since I moved in. I have my farm fresh vase with my little barn up there. And then I got a little welcome sign over there with some, I don't know, gather, home, eat, enjoy, family canisters. And then I got all of my birdhouses that really need bows. I ended up taking down one of those flowers pots from, I got those from Ikea. And I kind of dismantled it for my display that's going to be over here. So this is my display my spring display and i actually really really like it i'm sorry i'm trying to get a better um i don't know some better lighting but it's just it's just the way that the sun hits my house but this is a quick overview of oh 
my little numb fell over. I blame her. Um, but this is a quick overview of my little, I don't know, display hutch. I'm going to fix this gnome really quick. <laughs> so starting over here, I have my flower stems bloom. And this little guy from when I first started collecting, I just got a little crazy. But it actually goes with the whole sunflower theme. So I don't know. I like it. And my uh, grow where you are planted sign. This chair is from Hobby Lobby. I got it last year. I'm sure that they probably have something similar. I know a lot of people are obsessed with those um, wooden chairs and this is the one that I got so I don't know. I really like it. Um, and I did a very similar display last year but I just loved it so much that I kind of wanted to recreate it. And then I got my little stand. This little tear tray was also from Hobby or not Hobby Lobby. It was from Home Goods. Um, and I just love it and I love the way that this looks. So I got a couple of my little misters with my blue welcome birdhouse, my blue measuring cups there. And these are just some two by fours that I cut up and used to like display and like rise. And I just have them, I don't know. We had extra wood and I just had the guy from Home Depot cut them up and I just painted them with uh, chalk paint and I just use them as risers so that's a trick for you guys if you're looking for cheap risers and you don't want to spend a ton of money on them anyways I got my um yellow bird houses here and I don't know I just love the way that the blue and yellow looks initially I was gonna go for like a sun and sky kind of theme that's why I stuck with blues and yellows so that was kind of my idea but I don't know I still really like the way that it turned out so I have my little stems vase. I did not put anything in it. I just felt like at this point it would have been way too busy over here. But yeah, I got one of the little eggplants. And this is from that Ikea planter that it was up on top of my cabinets. I just put it in one of those little heart, uh, heart egg holders. And I don't know, I just really like the way that it turned out. And then my bloom planter with my um, fake sunflower um these guys were from i think they were from michael's either michael's or the at home store and then i got my little gardening tools here that say seed and plant and then i just put like a i don't know some wood beads and i just love the way that it looks i think it's so cute moving down we just have a basic happy spring with my little gnome um I don't know, last year I ended up putting some flowers in there, but I don't have any any extras and I'm trying not to go out to the store if I don't need to. But yeah, so that is what that looks like. And then I just have my blue plaid birch house. And then I have this little, I don't know, it's supposed to be a planter, but I actually love how simple it looks. It's just a little bicycle from the Target dollar spot. So. I don't know. I just really like the way that, that is. It's very simple and I just think it's so cute. So opening these up again, very simple, but I just love the way that it turned out. I just have some birdhouses over here and over here with some daisies. They kind of, I don't know, mirror one another, but like oppositely. I just like the way that it looks. So I got that. And then, I don't know, when it comes to spring and summertime, I just love fruits and teas and I just thought it'd be a good idea to use the little berry um I don't know what these are called technically but they're just like the little cartons yeah I got those with some blue flowers that I had from Dollar Tree last year sorry that's my dog in her crate getting settled um and then uh, the sweet tea pitcher and then over here is just the other carton with the iced tea pitcher and a very similar um, it's actually the same flowers as the other side. This is what it looks like. And again, it's very simple, but I don't know. I just like the way that it turned out. All right, guys, and that's going to be the end of this video. I know it was short and sweet, but I just wanted to share with you how I decorated my house for spring. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love it if you were part of my YouTube family. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.